Okay, I'm back. Is my camera working? Is my sound working? Yes, it is. So, this is the homie Luke Chu's new book. The Art of Luke Chu. It's his first book, actually. It's called Bearing the Unbearable. Um, and this is... <laughs> It's such a cool book. Uh, Luke, Luke is a an awesome dude. He's been through a lot, and he um, really wears his heart on his canvas, so to say. Um, so, nice hardcover book that chronicles basically Luke's work from two thousand three to two thousand nine. I believe is what I remember him saying. Um, it's 192 pages. The pages measure nine and a half by twelve and a half, so it's a nice size book that really shows off his work really well. Um, and the majority, basically the majority of all the pieces, when you see it, um, is like one piece per page, so it really showcases it. Um, Let's go and open this up and focus. There we go. All right, I gotta do something about that shadow. It's a little bit better. There we go. Real good quality pages. So you can see um, that's uh, Luke's Fallout Boy cover that he did for the band all right this was actually produced by um, gallery 1988 or I should say produced by Titan books yeah Titan made it and gallery 1988 produced it with Luke um, what's really cool about that I, I had a chance to kind of flip through but you know, it has really nice forewords, uh, people talking about Luke, talking about his art, talking about how they met him. Luke goes into detail about some of his works, where he was in his life when he created them. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really cool. And as, as you guys can see, I mean, this starts out in 2003 and all the way to the end goes to 2009 so you can see a transition of his work um, which is pretty amazing so I'll, I'll flip through a couple pages so you guys can see some of the stuff in it that one's awesome it's like a banana bar he's in space he just wants a real banana. It's titled Nostalgia. Poor pig. So Luke goes on to describe basically this painting right here. Pretty cool. So let's go and flip. Make the the, the the pages turn magically, so you guys can kind of kind of see. Oh, see, it's not just paintings. He has uh, he has some toys in there as well. Some custom toys, skate decks, some more toys. Show off the toys since I'm a toy site. Circus punk. Old school, uh, was it a keister? An egg key? And a money? It's such an awesome retrospective, like, to, to see all of this in, in one book. And like I said, it goes to 2009, so there's a couple years. I mean, Luke has had an awesome three years after this was produced, after it was made. 
uh, some of his shows um, that I've been to, like at the Corey Elford Gallery. Gosh, those were some fantastic shows that you know could be in this book as well. So there's enough content for a whole nother book. Moody Doom says more toy artists need to do them. I agree. I mean, you guys can see the transition. Like, look the amount of detail just in this painting, foreground, the background, the content, as compared to, you know, look look at how simple that form is right there of his, his bear. That's his target. That's his next figure. Monkey King producing it. Just look at that. Focus for me. Are you gonna focus? You're gonna be a jerk. There we go. Shea with the links. You guys can pre order these on Amazon.com right now. It's 192 pages, and it's only gonna set you back. 35 bucks. I'm sure you can find deals. You know, Amazon probably has it for cheaper. Um, Luke is going to be doing some signing tours, which is awesome. Uh, where is he going to be first? I believe he's going to be at uh, Gallery 1988 on Saturday, June 9th. So a couple weeks, you guys. Uh, Gallery 1988 Melrose from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Luke will be doing some signing and he's going to be at the Venice location and he's going to be doing some other signings too. I think Gallery Nucleus. Some newer stuff. Just the amount of work that this guy pops out is mind blowing to me. And, and so much of it has uh, just much deeper meanings than I think a lot of people give Luke credit for. Um, so it's it's great to see that, that Luke got this this book created. Was that a mecha, mecha sad bear? Painting that he did. A self portrait. And then the acknowledgments. Which is freaking awesome. Luke is a cool dude, and uh, he actually thanked me in here, which was crazy to find out. So, thanks, Luke. Appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I really kind of had a loss for words when it comes to this book, to be honest. It's just really, really cool. And for 35 bucks or maybe a little bit less... It can be yours. So basically it's being released June 9th. That's what I said. That's the book signing at Gallery 1988. You gotta pick it up. Super Sandbagger says it's kinda emo, if you ask me. Just saying. Yeah, it is. I mean, Luke, like I said, dude, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He or on his on his canvas. He really paints his emotions. He paints what he's going through. He paints what he's been through, um, which is, I guess, the true epitome of an artist. But it's it's great. It's great to see the um, the journey that he's taken, just with his art alone, with this book. Really neat. So. Bearing the unbearable.
Gallery 1988 produced, printed by Titan Books. I would highly, highly, highly recommend picking this up. And if you're in LA or whenever they announce other signings, to go meet Luke because he's a super nice dude and will uh, chat it up with you. Totally down to earth, which is what's awesome about the majority of the people in the, the toy, the designer toy art scene. So, it's a sweet ass journey, a sweet journey of art. <laughs> a sweet ass journey of art. Yes, it is. Pick this up, guys. The Art of Luke Chu, Bearing the Unbearable. 192 pages, hardback. Awesome. Luke rocks. So, that's basically it for my reviews today. You know what? Give me one sec. I'll be right, right back. Let's stop this.